for those following worship. Our, our new district superintendent, Carol Cook-Moore, will be with us. Uh, she'll be uh, bring the, bringing the message on that day, and then we'll, uh, following worship, we will, uh, we will have our uh, vote on, uh, on our new building plan with financing and with architecture plans and those, those kinds of things to try to get the, get the ball rolling. So uh, mark your calendar for January 17th as we'll have uh, uh, membership uh, votes. Uh, our DS is requiring that we, uh, that we require people to wear masks on that. Uh, day for that for that vote with her coming from uh, out of town she was uh, wanting us to make that a special designation so uh, so we'll have that as part of our part of our vote on uh, part of our worship on that on that day but I just wanted to lift that up as an exciting moment our we're grateful for our trustees uh, for putting together uh, uh, lots of wonderful plans and getting things uh, moving forward so uh, Continue to pray for that uh, to, to happen, and continue to pray for our for our meeting on that on January the seventeenth. Uh, today we have our Holy Communion uh, Sunday. We'll be uh, coming forward to uh, coming forward to receive, uh, and I'm, I'm thankful for Heidi Newland for putting together the elements for us uh, today. So we'll, we'll worship God with uh, celebrating communion today to get our new year off on the right foot. Uh, one of the important things that, uh, that you can do during the beginning of the year is begin a devotional plan uh, where you take up reading scripture on, on a daily basis. Back on the table back there, we have our new upper room devotional uh, uh, booklets that are, that are out for January and February. So pick one out. We have them in uh, regular print and, and larger print. Uh, we, we, usually re uh, we usually receive a bunch of those upper room devotionals. Uh, and we usually have a lot that we end up throwing away because we don't use them. Uh, so please feel free to take one to a neighbor or someone that you know of that's a shut-in uh, and, and uh, give, that as a, give that as a gift. Check in with them, uh, say hi to them, uh, pray with them, uh, and, and help them be plugged into God's Word. So uh, feel free to take those if you need one. Uh, see Nancy and she'll help make that happen. Um, so um, we have any birthdays to celebrate today on this on this new uh, on this new day and on this new year. Taylor Allison had one yesterday. Taylor and Allison had a birthday yesterday. All right. So did David. So did David. All right. And I, I believe uh, uh, Tim celebrated his uh, 31st anniversary of his 40th birthday. Is that what you said? Uh, uh, yet, uh, uh, on Friday, I think it was a Friday or Saturday. Uh, the thirtieth. So, uh, so happy birthday to Timmy uh, as as well. Uh, Heidi had a birthday too. All right, recently. Very good. Twenty nine. All right, very good. Any anniversaries or, or other birthdays to celebrate? All right. Well, let's sing happy birthday to these folks.
bulletin, we uh, have the invitation to celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion for today. So follow along with me. Christ the Lord invites to his table all who love him, earnestly repent of their sin, and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors. We have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. All right, our next praise song is What Child Is This? <coughs> Kids come down and join Miss uh, Megan Hickman at the, at the front for our children's time. They found baby Jesus, right? 
and they were so excited, they were exceedingly happy, and they were filled with joy because they had found they had found God's son Jesus. All right. So um, when we uh, after they found Jesus, they knew that that was special, right? They knew that star had brought them to something special. Um, and it turns out when you hear the story read today, you'll find out there was a bad king, and he was looking for baby Jesus. So these men, the wise men, go to found him, and then they snuffle in a different direction because they didn't want to leave the, the, the bad king where Jesus was. Okay, so that light bulb moment, when they saw that star, that was a holy moment. They found Jesus, and then they figured out they needed to protect him. All right, so let's say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, please look over these children this week. Please help us to have these light bulb moments in our lives. Help us to be to pause when we have them and to give thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. gather together, we, uh, we pray together, we lift up what's on our hearts, we uh, share the good things, the blessings, and also we lift up those that are on our hearts that, that need healing and help during this, uh, during this time, during this week. Uh, so what's on your heart that, that you would lift up for, for prayer this morning? out. I'm sure there's ways to uh, connect with them wearing a size 8 uh, clothing for, for the sun and, uh, and, and being there and caring for them that way. Yes, oh, really? oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Book. Uh, my dad was having some chest pain, so Jeffrey took him down to Oklahoma City, and he's in the heart hospital right now. They did. He had a blockage in the, somewhere, and they cleaned it out. He's going to do a few more tests today. He might get to come home later. But, okay. So. Okay. First for your dad. Good. Um, also, Shannon Reed's uh, father was having uh, some uh, heart heart issues, and he's uh, doing better, but continues to have some infection uh, struggles. So, be in prayer for uh, be in prayer for them as well. Um, we also would pray for uh, Jeff and Don and White, uh, John, uh, John's uh, grandpa, uh, grandfather, John. Uh, had a had an accident with his uh, with his truck uh, in and shoveling snow uh, and uh, he he was in and out of the hospital and his home uh, recovering with uh, with some injuries so be in prayer for John White uh, as well. My wife did usually I was telling you uh, she'll shoot a wedding and she's since July she's had issues with her foot so we're probably going to go to an orthopedic doctor to find out a little bit more. Of Hopefully it's just like tendonitis and just something minor. So yeah. just pray for her. First for Lacey. She's in a lot of pain the next day. So. Okay. Uh, my mom will find out Friday. We'll find out which direction we're going with her breast cancer. Okay. And we have a joy. Cole got engaged over Christmas. Yeah. So. Uh, and a concern. Keep yeah. it in your prayers. For, for, for <laughs> d- double prayers and, and, yeah. and joy and. Congratulations, that's it, exciting. It's, it's a joy, and so, yeah, that's coming in July, so. Very good, in, in July, okay, very good. I know that there's a lot of those that are uh, struggling and dealing with, with COVID and uh, being in the hospital. Uh, I know we have another uh, preacher in the conference, Gary Holdeman, who, uh, who uh, he, he was serving at, at Diamond for a while, uh, if he's uh, in long-term care uh, with, uh, with with different issues related to COVID, so we in prayer for him. Uh, also, my cousin uh, who uh, is is from the Dallas area, he and he's 
have got COVID and also has some uh, breathing issues, so we are part of prayer for them. Uh, we also know that there that our that school uh, comes back into session this uh, this week, so we pray for our students, our faculty, and our administration, and those that uh, those that care for our care for our students, and we we pray for uh, a blessed beginning of the of the new school year. At the Calvert Road store too, we've been ravaged by COVID out there, it's, so it. Uh, but I think it's Tuesday we'll have our. Everybody that's hired on full staff back, so we'll be in good shape. So, yeah. anyway, just for our, our, our front line workers, we, we try to we try to stuff. help everybody. Just bear with us. You all are you all are tremendous. We appreciate it. Yeah. It'll slow down, so we'll have everybody back now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Are there others to continue to continue to pray for? I know we have uh, several that. Uh, aren't here that with us this morning or watching from home and also uh, those that uh, are, are waiting to get a COVID shot in the, in the next week. So we, we pray for that uh, process to go, uh, go well for, for healing and health during this time. We got 10 watching. Okay, very good. <laughs> so let us point our hearts together for prayer. God, we are grateful and thankful to be in your presence today. We are thankful for the opportunity to worship you today and to uh, begin this new year uh, with, with your grace and with your blessing uh, for, for a new year. With, uh, and we ask, Lord, that you would draw our hearts together. We lift up to you those that are struggling today with, uh, with health struggles, uh, for those that are in the hospital, for those that are facing surgery, Lord, we pray for your healing for them. We also lift up to you those that are struggling with, with COVID and are in the hospital and dealing with, uh, dealing with, those, uh, with, with those struggles. We ask for your healing and help to be with them. We lift up to you our healthcare workers, uh, both here in, in our community and uh, in throughout our states, uh, in our nation, Lord, we ask that you would continue to uh, provide and see us through uh, this time. Uh, Lord, for, uh, for, our, for our school system, Lord, we lift them up to you. Uh, for our students coming back together and for our, uh, for our teachers and administrators who are making uh, decisions and caring for our students, Lord, we pray for them and pray for uh, your strength, prayers for your, for your peace, and prayers for uh, your grace to be upon them. God, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Uh, for the opportunity to celebrate uh, his worth and what that means for us during this time. Lord, we thank you for, uh, for what that means to us to shine a light into our darkness. Lord, we thank you for his presence that lives and reigns among us. It's in his name that we pray these things. Amen. At this time, we worship God with the gifts that we share. I'm grateful for those that have made special end-of-year gifts to get us uh, ending, ending on a good note and contributing to our Sowing the Seeds uh, campaign. Uh, uh, we're, we're grateful uh, in and through the office for those that uh, submitted gifts over the last uh, few weeks and for those that will continue to support the work and ministry of our church and also with our, with our building campaign. I'm grateful. Uh, for, for your prayerful support of, our, of, our, of the ministry of our church. So I invite our ushers to come to receive what we would share today.
God, we lift up to you these gifts that we have shared. May you bless them for your work and for your ministry and for your kingdom to be found here on this earth. To shine a bright light into this world as we begin a new year together. Amen. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod. The Magi of the East came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all of Jerusalem was with him. When we had called together all the people's chief priests, teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied. For this is what the prophet has written. But, but you, Bethlehem, from the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. <clears throat> then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another way. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thank you. Thank you. God. Amen. Please pray with me. God, we thank you for the hearing of your word today. May you bless and honor the words that I speak and the thoughts and meditations of all of our hearts. Inspire us by the gift of your Holy Spirit this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When I begin a new year, there's a few things that I like to do to get a, that helps me to feel like I'm getting off on the right on on the right foot to keep things moving forward. The first that uh, that my wife made for us the other day was black eyed peas. I know that my 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 family turns up uh, turns up their nose at them and snarls at them. How many do we absolutely have to eat? Uh, Oh, we made it through. It was okay. Uh, the, the other thing that I like to do is to begin a new Bible reading plan to uh, read the Bible through, uh, through in, in an entire year uh, from Genesis to Revelation. It's something that helps me uh, get, get my day going and helps me continue. And by the end of the, by the, end of the year, uh, it's a blessing to look back and say, oh, Look at all that. Look at all that I've covered, and all of the inspiration and, and devotional uh, practices that I've that I've done. The other thing that I like to do that I uh, don't often do is put together a puzzle uh, and uh, and put together a jigsaw puzzle. And the puzzle that I found this year at, at Walmart is a Noah's Ark puzzle. And I and I love the puzzle because. Uh, it, it's a thousand pieces. It takes a while. I may, I may be in a couple of weeks in finishing it. Uh, but also in this picture, not only do they have the ark and Noah, but they also have small little pictures of animals spread throughout this whole great big picture. They certainly are there two by two. Um, and uh, there's even some that are down in the water to those that are the birds up in the air and even to the elephants in the middle of the picture. Uh, and what I've enjoyed about putting that puzzle together this year is that the more you get into it, you see smaller little animals throughout this whole picture, from the, from the smallest all the way to the largest. And even uh, what I also love about putting together a puzzle is that uh, you can focus in on each individual piece but you also need to know the big picture and how, they, how the whole picture fits together. So you go from this perspective of zooming, in to, uh, zooming into the small little pieces, but then you also have to look back and say, where am I going? Where does this fit into the larger picture? 
And I love to begin my new year uh, with a puzzle and with Bible reading like that, because it helps my perspective to not only think about the small little daily things that I do, but what's the bigger picture? What is it that God is wanting me to do this year? What should it look like? What, what do we hope for? What do we pray for? What are we, uh, what are we anticipating in the, in the next year that, that's ahead? And I think our scripture for today helps us to think about that as well. We know the, we know the story so well. We can look at it uh, probably better and uh, know it better than the back of our hand. How Jesus was born in Bethlehem. The Gospel of Matthew uh, tells a little bit different story from what, what the Gospel of Luke tells us. And Matthew wants to let us know about how important it was for Jesus to be born. And how the, how the larger picture is that by the wise men coming, the three kings coming from the east, we get to know that God wasn't just giving his son for the Jewish people, for that small little group of people uh, in Israel, in the, in the Holy Land, but he was also reaching out to the people from the east. Outsiders came. The wise men came uh, traveling, journeying a long distance, and they were looking for the star, and they were welcome to come into Jesus' presence. They were welcomed by this holy star that, that appeared. The wise men had been looking, they had been watching, they had been studying, they had been hoping for this star to come, to come into picture. They have been studying and hoping and looking for it to happen, and there it is. Then they begin their journey all the way in to find this baby, to find the Messiah, to figure out the one that they have been looking for. And as they journey in, they begin to tell people and say, Hey, have you seen this child? We're, we're following this star. They asked, they, asked, uh, they asked common people, and they even asked the king. And everybody was in an uproar about what they were looking for. And finally, the wise men get them. The kings get to what they were looking for. And they find the child. And what do they do when they enter the house? where Mary and Joseph were living with their, with their newborn child. They don't, uh, they don't ask the Mary and Joseph to worship them. Instead, Mary and Joseph are worshipped. Though their little baby was, was worshipped, they are honored as the holy family. The three kings present their gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh, and they, they kneel and they honor and they worship their newborn king. They give their allegiance through their, through their worship, kneeling and worshiping Jesus, the Messiah, the, the anointed king. What, a, what an awesome moment that is. That even people who weren't part of the in group, who weren't part of, part of, the, part of those in the country, they were welcome to and that speaks volumes, I think, to us to know that we are welcome to worship Jesus. We are welcome to walk with him. We are welcome to journey with him throughout the new year. That's the gift that's given to us. And how should we respond? We should kneel and honor and worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for what God has done for us. Even when we weren't worthy, even when we were selfish, even when we didn't feel like we were part of the in crowd, part of the worthy ones, God says, yes, you are welcome. God says, yes, you can walk with me. You can have a relationship with my son, Jesus Christ. What an awesome gift that is to help us understand the bigger picture that we can be a part of what God is doing. In the world, what God has in mind for for the whole world, for everyone, is also welcome for us. What an awesome gift and opportunity that is. And that gives us the strength, it gives us the grace and the peace to make it through each day. To make it through whatever we face in the new year. When we stay plugged in and, 
in worship and scripture reading and allow and say, Lord, what would you have for me today? What would you show me today? How, how should I be faithful to you to walk and be faithful to you? How should I worship you today to kneel and honor Jesus Christ, our Savior, our King, who wants to be, who wants to rule over our lives with grace and peace and mercy and hope, to show us something new than what other people are seeing. And that allows us to step forward and to be faithful. I love the story of the of the of the farmer who had a who had a donkey. And the donkey fell into the well one day. And they couldn't get the donkey out. And the, the farmer was assuming that, the, that his donkey was, uh, was mortally wounded. So he decided that he was going to bury his donkey in the well. And they began to, they began to put shovelfuls of dirt down the well to, uh, to, to put the donkey out of his misery. As they began to fill in the, fill in the well and, and cover up the donkey, the donkey began to do something that, that the farmer and didn't expect. The donkey, when a, when a shovel full of dirt hit his head and hit his back, he would shake it off and he would step up. And another, and several more shovelfuls would come on him and he would shake it off and he would step on up until eventually the donkey was near to the top of the well, he found a way out by shaking off what was what was being put on him, and eventually he lived and, and got out of this sticky situation he found himself in. I think that's what God wants us to do when we have stuff come on us when we when we get that shovel full of that unpleasantness that that wants to weigh us down. We should shake it off. And step up to take another step forward in, in life to follow him. That's the, that's the small picture that becomes something bigger. That God wants us to walk with him and talk with him each and every day in the small things to move forward, to find a better way to live, find a better way to love, to find a better way to hope. That there is hope, there is life. For us, when we come together around this communion table, it may not seem like a significant meal to some people, but for us, this communion table brings life, brings us a way out of where we find ourselves. Around this communion table, we remember that God created the whole world and called it good. He created us in, in his image blessed us. But when we fell away and our love failed, God kept seeking us out. Didn't take no for an answer, even as far as he sent his son to walk on this earth. We receive Jesus, the one who brings healing, who brings help, who brings hope to us. Even when we find ourselves in darkness and in despair and covered up by the what ifs. God sent his son to walk with us. And as he faced his death on the cross, he gathered with his disciples. He gathered with them around the table that night. He took the bread. He blessed it and he broke it and he said, Take and eat, for this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, when the supper was over, he took the cup. He blessed it. And he said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Drink from this cup and find life and hope. So let us pray over these gifts of bread and wine. Lord God, we ask that you would pour out your Holy Spirit on us, gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world your body, your hope, your light in the darkness. Allow us, Lord, to be united by your spirit today so that we can be faithful as you are faithful to us. Help us to know, Lord, that we are part of something bigger, part of your kingdom here on this earth. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. invited to come to receive from this table, the table of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is prepared for each of us today. Come to receive at this time. That's it. give you thanks for this holy mystery which you have given yourself to us and we've received through this meal today. May you give us your strength, unite us by your spirit to go in your name to give of ourselves for others as you first gave of yourself to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, our heavenly closing is we three kings.
Stand and receive this benediction. Let the light of Christ go ahead of you. Let the light of Christ go with you. Go in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and all of God's people said, Amen. Amen.